just away. There's a look at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Ought to be a good one here between the Kansas City Royals and the Angels. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to Angels Baseball on the Show. Matt Vaskersian here with you. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, as we get set to get things going, it's the pitching that has to be considered one of the strong points on this ball club. Yeah, and pitching is going to be important for these guys. No question about it. They're only going to go as far as this group right here is going to take them. And to me, it looks like a staff that's capable of getting the job done. All right, the stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. Now taking the field, welcome your 2015 Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. More from the guys as this one goes along, but first, let's take guys lined up like this. And defensively, the Angels will look like this in the field. Alcides Escobar to step in for the first time. And as you can see, not the fastest of starts for him this first week of the season. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. And Eric, this Angel Ball Club entering play here tonight. They come out of the gate slowly. Just one of their first four have been wins. And I think it's just going to be a matter of putting yesterday behind you. It wasn't their finest performance of the year, that's for sure. But they're capable of playing much better ball. And I think we'll see a sharper focus here in this one. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. 
on the first, and Escobar set down to open up the ball game. So a fine change up there to get the ground ball. Just one of a handful of pitches he'll feature moving forward as you take a look at the scouting report right there. Lorenzo Kane will get his first opportunity now. Now here's the first pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Even though this night's only three pitches old, already we're seeing some disagreement on the strike zone. The next pitch. This one's a strike. It's one and one. Here's the one one. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. Here's Wilson's 1-2 pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. and two. One out, nobody on. Here's another 1-2. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. And it's gone! A solo shot here to left, and the Royals are on the board first. It's one to nothing. Yeah, you're right, Matt. I remember mine. I, I hit it in my first at bat of the 1992 season against the San Diego Padres. It's hard to describe exactly what you feel as you round the bases, but as you can imagine, it's pretty awesome. You know, hopefully, he can get that ball back soon so it can go in his trophy room. Eric Hosmer comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and zero. Oh. The 1 0 pitch. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Under it now is Simmons to take it in for route number two. Boy, he had to go a long way into the outfield to make this play. I kept thinking he was going to get called off, but he must have kept shouting for it, so he stays with it and pulls it in. Here's Kendry's Morales. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. Here comes the 1-0. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. on the way in the air to right center Calhoun will wait on it and he will put it away to retire the side the Royals do play to run thanks to Lorenzo Kane on to the bottom of the first at Angel Stadium and the Royals are off to an early one nothing lead Starting lineup for the Angels is there on your screen. And there you get a look at the starting pitcher whose job it'll be to keep these guys in check. His number is right there on the right side of your screen.
the Royals defensively will look like this behind him. Bottom of the first straight ahead as Yunel Escobar steps in to get him started. And a ball 1-0. and E.K., you take a look at our visitors as they enter play here this evening. They come into this one in good spirits, fresh off their first victory of the new campaign last time out. And they got a great pitching performance in the opener of this series, so if they could get anything comparable here or the rest of this road trip, you can bet they'll take it. Mm, and they'll just watch that knuckle curve, one and one. Ready now on one and one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here comes the one-two. To two balls and two strikes now. Two-two. And a full count now as Kennedy misses there. It's three and two now. Here's the three two pitch. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here as they're trying to get that run right back here in the first. Well, when you're holding on to a one run lead, you don't want to start walking him. Especially not the leadoff hitter. He'll kick himself over that one. But he's going to have to put it behind him quick. Cole Calhoun will stand in now. He'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. First pitch on the way. Opposite field to left. And Gordon's there to take it in for the first out. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean smoked. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. And now he'll step off quickly and look the runner back. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Pause, now the pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One one on the way. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Runner at first here, one man out. Here comes a one two. Trout with a big swing, but he jumped out a bit too much as this one will curl foul. Set now the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here he comes again. One, two. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. That was quite a nice little battle as we check out the sequence of pitches here. It was a six pitch at bat. And as you watch this, you'll see that he wasn't going to go down without a fight. He was able to keep the at-bat alive by fighting off a couple of tough two-strike pitches. But in the end, finally put away on that pitch right there, one and two.
Here's Albert now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hard stuff on the corner, and he's got him 0-2 now. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. He's ready. Now the pitch. 0-2 pitch. Swung on and hit in the air out to straightaway left. And Gordon will make the catch to retire the side. Angels leave one. They're down one nothing. Mike Mustakis leads things off now in the top the half of the second. City, third baseman number eight, Mike Mustakis. Here's the first offering. That's popped up out towards short right field. Pennington is there, and he's got it, and it's a first pitch out to begin the second. Well, nothing better than a first pitch pop-up to start the inning. Now, you'll take that every time. Salvador Perez digs in at the plate. Now, here's the first pitch. A fastball here, too low. It's 1-0. One zero on the way, and a strike to even the count. One and one. He may not throw a ton of changeups here tonight, but he's got a good one when he needs it. And I think he will need it because this is a good fastball hitting team. Most teams are. So the more you can keep these guys guessing off balance, the better. Now the one one is hit sharply back up the middle, and it's going to get on into center. It's a base hit. Yeah, he hit a good pitch there. This thing's toward the outside part of the plate, but he stays with it all the way. Uses the big part of the field and gets himself a base hit. Here's the left fielder, Alex Gordon, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. From the stretch, runner goes for second. Pitch swung out and missed the throw. It's high, but a fine play to come down with it at second, and he's out trying to steal a base. Here's another look, and you're going to see this throw as a high one down to second. But he's still got time to go up the ladder and then come down with it and put the tag on in time. Now the pitch. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. Royals bats are quiet there. And after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. CJ Crone will lead things off here as they'll have five, six, and seven due up to start the home second. First offering on the way. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Oh, a very hittable pitch, too. That's a middle-of-the-plate fastball. And he's not going to get away with too many of those tonight. And the pitch. Here we go. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. One-one pitch on the way. Here we go. 
Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Boy, that is, that is as close to unhittable as it gets. Now the one, two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Daniel Nava will get his first shot at it here. And here's the first pitch. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. And there to take it in is Gordon for round number two. Andrelton Simmons get his first chance now. Trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. First pitch coming. And a good fastball from Kennedy as he gets ahead with strike one. Come on, let's get a hit. And now a pitch on the way. And that misses one and one. The one one. And that misses two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here it comes, two and one. Here we go. Ooh, right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. Here he comes on two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. Three and two. Here it is. Now a swing and a fly ball. And they can't run it down. Here's the full count offering. Oh, got him looking at the two-seamer, and that'll end it. Angels are gone in order. They trail this one one to nothing. Paul Okendo is ready to go here as we begin the third. Right fielder, Paul Okendo. First pitch coming. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Hard to call that an off-speed pitch when it's a changeup at 88. That's a fastball for a lot of guys in this league. the pitch and this catches the zone as well it's 0 2 now that's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike it's Whoa, up at the letters and that's a tough one to do anything with now here it comes and here's a curveball looked at strike three called and that's the first out of the inning well, anytime you're leading off an inning, it's true. You don't want to just go up there blindly swinging at anything close to the zone. But you also want to at least take the pad off your shoulder. I mean, he's phoned this one in. Let's go, Angel! Omar Infante to stand in. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh.
Bases are empty, one man out. The 1-0. -oh. Aiming for that outside corner, but just missing 2-0. Time to put those glasses back on up. Now the 2-0 -oh home. Outside, 3-0 -oh now. Three straights, nobody on. Here it comes now to Infante. Woo! That one's in there, 3-1. and one. But this is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92-93. Here he comes, 3-1. And this is hit well towards the hole. Taken there by Escobar. On to first, and there were two down. Alcides Escobar will get a second shot now. He grounded out to start the ball game. First pitch coming. Now a ball line foul as this is over the Angel dugout. Two out, nobody on. Now the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. The 1-1. One, one. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. KC down in order but they hold a 1-0 lead. Carlos Perez makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Here's the first offering. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. 1-0. -oh. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. Here's the 1-1. Here we go. Now a ball lying towards center field. And that is going to be a base hit. Well, he's been a little slow out of the blocks here to start the season, but that looks a little better there as this is a sharp base hit. Cliff Pennington will dig in here. First pitch to him. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. From the belt, kicks and deals. Fastball called for strike two. Yeah, and it doesn't look like he's trying to get a ground ball here. He's coming right after him trying to get a punch out. Bluff here as he steps off to looking back at first. Nobody out, runner on first. Comes set, now the pitch. Swing and a rocket to third. A little unlucky right there as he hits that ball right at him. Stepping in now, Yunel Escobar. He'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. On. 
He waits. Now the pitch. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Okendo is there. Two down. Well, this certainly is not any kind of a routine play out there. As you can see, this ball is slicing away from him. But he's still got his sights on it all the way, and he gets over there to make the play. Cole Calhoun will stand in now. This is hit on the ground, but foul. Come set, now the pitch. Fastball misses inside, it's even at one. Here's the 1 1 pitch. He makes good contact on it as this is going to make its way through into left field for a base hit. Mike Trout will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. First pitch to him. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. All right, all right. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. He's set. Now the pitch. Hits softly to the right side. Throw on to first. He'll be in time. And a good chance for the Angels goes for naught as the side is retired. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Back to Angel Stadium right after this. Lorenzo Cain will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Center fielder number six. Lorenzo Cain. Now the first side with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. And after giving up the home run last time, he's just making sure that guy doesn't get too comfortable up there. I can't say I blame him. The 1-0 home. And he couldn't lay off there as he offers it a pitch in the dirt, and the count comes even now at 1-1. One and, one. and after you move a guy off the plate and you know he's all worked up, that's a perfect time to drop a curveball or a changeup on him. Great pitch call right there. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. And when that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of... Meanwhile now, this is a fair ball down the line in left, and that ought to be good for extra bases. Kane on his way to second. And he gets in there standing. He's got himself a double. Pretty safe to say he was sitting on the fastball there. He's out in front of this pitch, and he just drills it right down the line. And that'll put him in a good position here with the runner on second and nobody out. The first baseman, Eric Hosmer, is in. As he'll swing and lift a foul ball off to the left and out of play. Pause. Now the pitch. Now a cut fastball, but that doesn't threaten the zone. It's even at one. The one-one home. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. Here's the 1-2. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. And you know what that is? That's just unselfish baseball from a middle-of-the-order hitter. It's a tight game. 
He knows the importance of that runner on second base, so he's going to make sure he at least gets him to third, and that's just a job well done right there. Here's Kendry's Morales. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Any thought to bring in the infield in here with one away? Still a little early in my book. A run you can live with. What you don't want to do is let this snowball into a big inning. Now the 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh, with every pitch it misses, he just keeps digging himself a deeper and deeper hole. The 2 0 on the way. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2 0 game. Boy, this was just a little too close for comfort here. You can see him lining it up out there in center field and then just letting it fly for home plate but the throw is going to be just a little too late as the run will score on the sacrifice fly. The third baseman, Mike Moustakis, now. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. And now, after that sack fly, this is where you got to just clear the deck and start this inning over. one 0 -oh pitch now. And a bouncing ball so far for the Vegas. And now the pitch. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. One, two. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in. And it's two and two. You know, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to 